Welcome. Some of you may recognize me. I'm Dr. Hoffman. <laughs> and today, we will be exploring emotion. Specifically, three theories of why emotion happens. Today, we're at the birthday party of my good friend, Gavin. We're going to be testing out the emotion, anger. First off, we have the James Lange theory of emotion. It starts out with a stimulus. Let's give our test subject his stimulus. Time out! Okay, I just gave him his stimulus, so up next comes a physical response. In this case, slowing of digestion so that his resources can go to other parts of his body that'll be important in a fight or running away. Let's see how this plays out. On time. <laughs> Secondly, we have the Cannon Bard theory of emotion. It's much like the James Lange theory, so we're going to give our test subject another stimulus. Time out! Okay. As you can tell, he's getting pretty mad already. That's because in the Cannon Bard theory, emotion and physical response come at the same time. I'm kind of scared about this one. Time in. Ah! Our third and final theory of emotion is Shatner's two-factor theory. For this one, I've brought in my assistant. Thank you for bringing me here today, Dr. Hoffenschneeshmanemann. It's Hoffenschneeshmanemann. Hoffenschneeshmanemann? Hoffenschneeshmanemann. Anyways, for Shatner's two-factor theory, there need to be two things for the emotional experience. One, a physical arousal. Two, a cognitive label. So if our subject can't think about what's going on, he won't be able to experience emotion. As we wait for Gavin to wake up, I'll explain that once he's conscious, he'll be able to think about what's going on, and therefore, experience emotion. Good morning, sunshine. What happened to me? I knocked you out. What? Be sure to join us next time when we talk about happiness.